episode 89. Welcome to the show. Premium episode, episode 90. 90. 90. This is what, three episodes in a row? <laughs> Wait, actually, you remembered 89 because we did the racist one. Yeah, you said that, it was the first so. non-racist That's one. That's right. I was about to say, is this our first non-racist yeah. one, or is it the first non-racist one after the non-racist one? Yeah. Anyways, hey, thanks for joining us, guys. So, so it's it's my last week of school, so I feel like I can, I can tell this story now. Um, there's this, like, really annoying kid in my class who's just, like, he's a know-it-all. And he yells out every answer, but he's wrong, like, most of the time, which is, like, super frustrating. And, uh, well, <laughs> the, the, like, I had this, like, weird feeling about him. And then I noticed in his backpack he was carrying around, like, 25 single-use plastic straws. Like, he took them from somewhere, so if he wants to use a plastic straw somewhere, and it's actually a paper, he could just take one of his disposable <laughs> That's weird. One. So I was like, okay, I think I'm right about this guy. That's like, that's what my grandpa does, because he grew up during the Great Depression. He was born in 1929. So he, like, when he gets straws, <laughs> he's like, I'm putting these in my pocket. I'm not, I'm not giving up these straws and these napkins. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> I was like, whatever, he's just like annoying to me. And I get annoyed pretty easily in, in class by people. So I was thinking, whatever. And then last week, I had like a new guy sitting next to me. And I noticed on his desk, he had a piece of paper that said, well, it said the black eyed peas word. Let's- I was just, mm-hmm. Whatever, I'm, I'm just, I'm telling the news here. It said retard sheet. And it was titled that at the top. <laughs> and they were, <laughs> they had a tally and it said like that guy's name on it. And it was like how many times he's right and then how many times he's wrong. And they were keeping a fucking count. <laughs> like every day they were putting like how many he was right out of how many he was wrong. And then they also had last week's rolling average, which was 18% correct. And then they had a second column underneath so about times he just shouted out like things that were off topic. And then him and his buddy were like <laughs> gambling on how who was going to get the right That's over so and under. That's fucking cool. <laughs> that rules. That's so much effort to put in to not be good at school. <laughs> That's so high effort, dude. That's crazy. Right? <laughs> That's awesome to be like, a Why don't you just do all, all your homework? Just... If you want to be like the guy who does the most shit. Bro, yeah, I hate raising Dancing your in your seat. Know nothing. Ooh, and then, I don't know. I don't know. Actually. I never raised my hand ever. <laughs> no. Because I would feel like a fucking asshole because I always knew the answer, but I'm not going to be like, I know what it is. Because I got that yeah, drilled out yeah. of me at like a very young age to be like, don't show off that you're smarter than other people. You're not. It's you're being a dick if you do that. I hate it though <laughs> if you had a teacher or a professor where they would like ask for the right answer from someone in class and you're sick of answering shit, even if you know it, you're just like sick of being that guy. Mm-hmm. They're waiting, but they won't move on until someone speaks up and you're like, <sighs> <laughs> put your fucking hand it's, up. It's the most annoying shit because it won't even be like something you'd have to be smart to know. It's like we're calculating like wattage or something, right? And he's like, okay, well, uh, yeah, it'll be like 650 divided by 80. And the guy will just like, 8.125! Like, it, it's not <laughs> like you have to be smart to do this, it, as you were like waiting at your calculator. And then a lot of the times he'll enter it into his calculator wrong, and we'll say like, 8.33! And everyone else in the class is like, no, it's like 8.125. He's like, no, 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 look! And then he does it again, he's like, never mind. That's so <laughs> awesome, it's like GeoGuessr Twitch chat. <laughs> just people like not even looking at me like uh, Japan, uh, 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 South Korea, uh, uh, Brazil. No, because at least the point of that is guessing. Like it's mm-hmm. bad when there's something absolutely yeah, like math? that. Like no, 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 no. All nineteen of you are wrong. There's no I guessing in math. Correct. Are we sure about this map being uh, marked correctly? I feel like this is Florida. I, I, I remember seeing this by my house. <laughs> I don't want any sort of contractor just like doing the math in his head like that. Like six eighty divided by like just do the calculator. <laughs> Like, if you were really good at doing that in your head, I would still be like, do the calculator or my house is going to be on fire. <laughs> I had a thought like that, Tom. Recall Vector would freak out at some of the Google Maps shit that happens. Like, say you're driving across what, what you could see as coverage. Uh, it happens a lot in big cities in America, especially. And it'll look like a road and you're, you click it and you're driving across it. Then all of a sudden it's a whole new intersection with like new buildings and shit. Because like, the first coverage was 2011 and now you're looking mm-hmm. at like 2019. It's like almost a completely different place. Recall vector, be like, now what the hell is going on here? <laughs> now I don't it looks understand. Like, this it looks changed. like this for one second, and one year, one and... year the street looked here, and well, another year it looks different here. Now, Even though it's like all clearly dated, you'd ignore that and be like, I remember oh, it being different the last time I looked at this. There's something fucky going on at this exit ramp. <laughs> He's awesome because he takes it to another level. 
compared to the other Mandela Effect guys because he doesn't just look at cartoons that are misremembered or mm-hmm. misquoted lines. He'll look at stuff like that the Simpsons... Uh, theme song, the way the animation was, was different in 1990 than it is now because they had someone redo it in a new animation style. He oh, just God. thinks that's a Mandela effect. <laughs> so, so, like something that they just, it could not be more obvious that they just, they changed it. They announced that they were going to change it. Everybody knew that. They, yeah, there's like a huge they changed change. It. We all remember when the Simpsons theme song changed, like the, the you know, who was in it and yeah, shit. Yeah, when the animation changed, like yeah. you can see it. Well, Go back and watch season six See, and watch it now. Like, when I was a kid, Michael Keaton was Batman, but now oh, we're watching oh. some of the newer ones and he's not. So, like, I remember, I remember that being different. I remember Heath Ledger being alive. <laughs> Possible Mandel effect. I did just see Michael Keaton's Batman again, so maybe so it's correcting it's, itself. Maybe the, the universe is trying to fix the Mandel effect that broke it. I just I want to provide a clarification on the on the R word sheet too. Just I was came back to my head. It's not the guy that's wrong keeping the tally. It's somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't sure okay. when Alex said his thing. Think, like, that's so much work to be like bad at school. Oh, he was talking about the guy being tally. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. okay. So I okay. don't think the guy <laughs> is like calling himself the R word. <laughs> That'd be awesome well, if you're that self aware though. Tom, pull out our R word list. Write down Aaron. Put tally right. one for. Yeah, no, it was <laughs> Alex. I was right. All right. Put no, Alex no, for, for thinking we under, we didn't we didn't understand. Yeah. Uh, Alex oh. is getting one for not understanding, and then Aaron's yeah. getting. I have one, one on the R word sheet because yeah, <laughs> I, I figured right. that. You know, remember that that post that uh, that Bobby Games found that was like the R words. I'm going on an R word spree. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was the context I heard it in. It was like, oh, he's like writing down his R word spree on, the, on this piece of paper. <laughs> it is really funny that you're like breaking your pencil. Fuck, not again. Fuck. I did read it like I immediately read that the first time you typed in the DMs because how it was worded, and I was laughing, thinking to myself like. This guy's just trolling and being like, let's see how much shit I could say wrong and how much time I could waste today. <laughs> Which would be like a really funny thing to like devote time to and thought. Yeah, like the, the professor is salaried, so the more shit you ask him, the more the less he's getting paid. Oh, that's a good oh, yeah. That's a good bit to do, except for like the fact that you have Bro, to Bro, this like, also reminds me get a degree and graduate and like yeah. last And class. also everyone's mad at you. Yeah. <laughs> we had an instant classic post uh come to the internet yesterday. Uh-oh. And that is the uh, A-Rod, Alex Rodriguez Instagram story of him with his own stationery and a pen. And the caption, I'll oh, just written over it like with the Instagram like text says, finally starting to write my book about lessons learned in baseball and business. And he looks completely <laughs> naked. The pad is on his legs like a teenage girl sitting there like on his, like while he's sunning. And all you can see are his like hairy thighs, like can't even see his feet or his pants or anything, just his thighs. Like he looks butt ass naked. That's all you can see. And the, on the pad that says, like, A-Rod Corporation, it says at the top, book, with an underline under, like, fucking Spongebob with his the. It's one of the book. funniest posts I've ever seen. I've got this open now. That's so cool. He's, like, <laughs> he's wearing the shortest shorts of all time, like, super short bike shorts. You've got his, his hairy-ass thighs. You would think he would be, he was, his, high, his thighs would be less hairy at this point. Yeah, and he's like a villain. He's, le- he's sitting there with his A-Rod stationery, and he's sitting next to, like, A-Rod Corporation, like, building, like, whatever the fuck it is, like, his A-Rod Foundation. And he's sitting by the building, like, Because he's, like, in, in his 50s, right? Old guys are supposed to have beautiful, smooth thighs. Well, coming, close, he... uh, coming close to his... Uh... 47. Yeah. Beautiful, hairless legs from Friction. I think A-Rod's cool because he did steroids. Yeah. No, A-Rod's honestly great player, fantastic. Very funny Derek because Jeter he's so sucks a rod. He's so he's such a weird guy. He's so strange <laughs> that it's really funny to like just look at him and like his career. Yeah, I think people people freak out about like Crystal Mommy, Aaron Rodgers arc, and uh, Tom Brady getting his buckle fat removed and mm-hmm. getting all the shit sucked out of his face, so he looks like he's fourteen again. That's cool. <laughs> but like a rod, a rod's been doing this. Shit, yeah, a rod is was yeah, at the top beautiful. of his game. Absolutely, yeah. but he's just. He's always done this consistently throughout his whole career, and he rocks. I love A-Rod. I love anyone who Red Sox fans hated in 2004, or in the 2000s, because I had to hear about the Red Sox growing up. So yeah. anyone they didn't like is good to me forever. I found a bar on uh, Google Maps yesterday in the Dominican Republic, and it's a Red Sox and White Sox bar, because they've had so many <laughs> historical Dominican oh, wow. players on those teams. <laughs> David so Ortiz. Cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So if you're a Sox fan of any variety, yeah, yeah there. <laughs> I like Boston and just, Chicago. I'm just a big Sox fan. I just love Sox <laughs> so much, bro. 
That, but think about the, the the adverse of that. It'd be a Cubs and Yankees bar. That sounds terrible. Oh, God. Oh, dude. God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man. Uh, yeah, you, know, yeah. gotta, you know, we got to know baseball well to just, and no offense to any of our, our listeners if you're Cubs fans. I'm sure you're great because you're listening no. to us, but Cubs. <laughs> I meant this full offense. Don't, don't listen to us anymore. <laughs> Knock it off. I mean, they don't keep they don't downloading it, often, right? Keep downloading I, it. Just don't listen anymore. Did they finally would, win the World Series a few years yeah, ago? Yeah, they did in 2016. Yeah, yeah. They, okay, they beat yeah. Ben's team and put him into a depression. Yeah, and Tom's did. team. Yeah, they did. Uh, exactly. I was in Chicago when they won. I was there for uh, to see the All Blacks play uh, Ireland and rugby oh, okay. in like, an international so you can friendly. You can see the All Blacks, but Tom can't see the Indians anymore. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> And right. uh, we, we like got in the day that they, they won the World Series and we're like, mm. okay, well, let's just like head down to Cubs Stadium to see if they win this game seven. We're like listening to the, so awesome. the, the game that, on the radio. The Thank you. Thank you for calling it that. Fuck, fuck them. Cubs Stadium. It's called Wrigley, like one yeah. of the most famous <laughs> names. <in baseball. laughs> well, whatever. I was there when they won. Everyone was popping off and like <laughs> jumping on fucking taxis and cop cars and climbing uh, like lamp posts and shit. It was dope. Bro, and everyone was singing, um, uh, hey, Chicago, what do you say? Cubbies are going to win today. So me, I was like an honorary Cubs fan for a day. Me and Andrew and my girlfriend were in uh, Chicago when they clinched to go to the World Series that same year. Okay. And we were right by Wrigley because we were, we were at the, uh, oh, I think we were near there at least. We were at the underground watching Oathbreaker. Great show. And Sick. When we got out, everyone was fucking partying and cars were honking <clears> and shit. <throat> and this guy that was like in an old, like, um, one of those Warner Brothers editions Chevy Ventures with like the, the TVs on the seats and shit. He had something playing. I think he just had literally like Sports Center playing on both of them. And he comes and stops right in front of us in this van in the middle of the road and goes, and he has a chihuahua on his lap, very oh, chat yeah. style. He has a chihuahua yeah. with a sweater on, right on his lap. Yes. He looks at us and said, Hey, do you like the Cubs? We're like, No. And he goes, Good. Fuck the Cubs. <laughs> and go, Boy, I did not want to know. I thought about it later. I'm like, What would have happened to us if we yeah. said yes? <laughs> Nothing. He would just said, Fuck you. And then just yeah. But like, I was, that guy was a little crazy looking. It was awesome. I was in uh, downtown or little or the Italian. Was it called? What is it? Little. Does every city have its little Italy? Yeah, little. Italy. It? Okay. Okay. Yeah. I was in Italy. Little Italy has big Italy, actually. Uh, yeah. Rome does. Yeah. Big Italy is a name. Rome big Italy. It's dope. <laughs> It's called the Vatican. <laughs> but uh, we were we were driving through uh, Little Italy in San Francisco when me and my dad and my sister were out like doing a out west trip. We did some hiking and visit some people, and we're driving through it. And then this was in 2006, and all of a sudden, like, just people start running out of like the all these bars and shit into the street and like just celebrating and like freaking out because we'd forgotten that the world it was a world cup finals and italy had just won the world <laughs> cup and so all these people just like stormed out of the bars and they're like a turned it into like a parade people were like slapping on our windows oh, and awesome. shit like that we so my dad was like honking his horn and everything was it was so awesome yeah oh six that was they beat they beat france and zinedine zidane headbutted that guy after he called his mom a prostitute <laughs> Say what you will about the Italian fans, but they're better than Anglos at that. I will give them credit. They're better soccer fans. They're less annoying. That was on TV when I did the, the Blazing Challenge, when I beat it. <laughs> when I was, it was my, actually, it was my 18th birthday. The Blazing Challenge is funny because there was one time we, uh, Quaker Steak and Lube had one. And like, it was like I can't believe 10. that's a fucking name still, by <laughs> the way. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is the lube? I don't know. It's gravy. Is it like a car it's, place? Yeah, it's, 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 I mean, it's like, I think, yeah, it's a gravy solo. Yes, that's it's just all the sauce. The sauce is the lube. The lube is the okay. No, it's it's like no, based it's off car, of like an old car theme. shop. Yeah, it's a car yeah. theme. Oh, okay, they have yeah, like vehicles to, uh, suspended from the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah. Quaker steak instead of Quaker steak. I, I just, yeah. no, sorry to cut you in, but I just a little tidbit. It was like uh, to build a new one with all that shit. It's like four million dollars, like mm -hmm. just worth of like paraphernalia of like vehicles and shit. Like literally entire vehicles That's suspended so from much. But they That's do a terrible business model. But like they get tons of people because it's just wings and on Tuesdays all you can eat wings. And so it was like $15. Best Wings USA, the, the sign beer, says. The beer yeah. tuber with the yeah, beer. Yeah, the, the beer, oh, the beer. Yeah. I went to a store and I saw that and I was like, man, I should buy that. All <laughs> the all the waitresses. All the waitresses they wear uh, like mechanic jumpsuits, but they have no ass on it. <laughs> <laughs> but we went to the we were cool. we went on Tuesday and we were doing the all you can eat wings and just hanging out and like this guy this guy was like super drunk sitting at the bar and like kind of like a few seats from us. And he was just like talking shit, just kind of being like, Ugh, I'm going to do all these blazing wings challenge. What do I get? Mm -hmm. And they're like, well, you get like a sticker. Like, you, have to do, you, have to eat like, you have to eat like 15 to get like a shirt. And he like got five. 
And so he's doing this Blazing Wings challenge, and we're just kind of laughing at him. He's like, you pussies could never do it, college boys. And that was only because <laughs> my friend was wearing a Miami University like <laughs> sweater, and he just college kept calling boy. him college boy. That's such a good insult. Bro, that's yeah. a college boy. That's still literally a great insult, especially if he went to college. But the, Quaker, the Quaker boy. Steak and Lube is in Canton, and he was like just Fun to say on campus, and too. that's where Gr Nate Grandma is from, Canton. And like, that's just, he was just a normal oh Canton white guy, just white trash. And so like, we were just kind of like, razzling him and then he went to the bathroom i think to puke because he was just so sick and like he was kind of mad that he only got the sticker and uh then he was like you pussies could never do it you pussies could never do it and then the bartender came over and he gave us all the th same sticker and it was like here you guys go you can tell him that <laughs> you did the challenge too <laughs> so he came back and we were like oh yeah we just did it but it's so easy for us we didn't That's have to so get any funny. milk or anything and he was it's like awesome. what are you talking about man <laughs> what, what do you mean how did you get those like yeah we ate the five wings it's not hard <laughs> like one would think that uh something like someone calling you another adult man calling you a pussy for not doing a stupid food challenge that makes you throw up oh, God, and then wow. throwing up and getting like snot all over himself and embarrassing himself. That's something that's not uh, online. Yeah. That just yeah. happens in real life too. Mm -hmm. Like well, that can just happen to you at a yeah. restaurant. Yeah. It's, it's you know? funny that it just continuously happens to me. <laughs> it's it's just something about America <laughs> that makes not, that happen. It's something I, in my life that people call me a pussy for not wanting to be really sick um, that day and the next day. If I saw a guy walk into the bathroom at B-dubs, with like just fucking vomit all over his like shirt and shorts and like his eyes are completely like blood vessels broken in his face and shit from like coughing and just snot dripping. I'd be like, Giga Chad. Yeah. <laughs> I can kind of get out of that because no one's going to see me and be like, I, you're a fucking pussy, man. Why don't you eat 20 wings? <laughs> well, I can't. Actually. Just coming up to the smallest guy in the restaurant. Yeah, being well, like, I bet you I bet I could eat more than you. It's the antithesis of prison, like going up to the restaurant and like for... yeah. going up to the smallest guy and telling him he can't eat so many People wings. People are so nice to me when I'm in prison. Their first day, they go up to the smallest guy and pat him on the back and say, hey, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's no, Alex, you, you forgot from one of our early episodes that's what you do on your last day of prison you gotta go up to the smallest guy and give him a hug <laughs> oh right Aww. yeah it's very nice you're working yeah. your way through everybody it's your last day of prison you're reformed you're no longer punching the biggest guy you're hugging <laughs> the smallest guy you're lifting him up just real quick the best one we ever came up with with the first day in prison bit was i think that the pedophile who like has no idea and goes into prison and on day one he goes up to the biggest guy in there and asks to see pictures of his kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, they had the t-shirt, but you had to eat like 15 wings at the time. They weren't just giving t-shirts um, away back then. It, it, yeah, it says if you're tough enough, try our triple atomic wings. Oh, okay. uh, 500,000 Scovilles. Uh, and then you wow. get a T-shirt with a biohazard mask on it. I, it's the Eat the Heat Challenge. I guarantee that Nate Grandma has done that several different times. He does Nate it without Grandma probably just it. Yeah, he just he goes and plays the wings normally and sucks them to the bone. He's like, <laughs> this is really good. Doesn't even, like, not even sweating. Yeah, they give me Evil a free T-shirt every time. They give me a free T-shirt every time I go. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, why? <laughs> you know, yeah, guys, look like, at this. They just gave me a free T-shirt. <laughs> It'd be like Vince. Vince would go and try that. He would get through like three bites of a wing and be, have snot everywhere and be like crying. And Brad's already done with his plate and sitting there like <laughs> <laughs> looking at it. Man, <laughs> Vince eating, the, Vince eating the atomic sauce and it like just goes into his like open sores <laughs> in his mouth. Oh, oh God, no, that's too sexy for me to think about. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, they they have a menu item called the Lube Burger. Hey, mm. also thinking about a guy who. uh Think about a guy who door dashes blazing wings and gets mad because he finishes them and <laughs> doesn't, doesn't get a headband. <laughs> what the fuck? He's you bring the container back to the store afterwards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's expecting a t-shirt in the order. <laughs> Opening complaining. <laughs> complaining to the door dash you because I didn't come with my free t-shirt. Now are these boneless wings or boned wings? Boned, boned. wings. Boned. Oh, I think if you that's order a thumbs down for me. I think if you do at least twelve, they start you, but they just immediately give you a headband now. Like they did even back then. Mm -hmm. But I had to like finish my wings to get a headband. But I think if you order twelve, they just give you the headband. They now. have they had boneless wings, and I'm sure you can do it. But I think the challenge is bone bone. Bro, how bad? That's would it That's one feel? of my baby opinions. I, I agree with you. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you're eating out. It was just one of those little cannonball-shaped guys that had infinite energy at, like, 54 and just go to the gym and play, like, eight basketball games in a row, like, full games, <laughs> and they're just on the court the entire time just beating up the young bucks. Imagine just getting fucking 
Your ankle's broken by a dude wearing a B-dubs headband. <laughs> <laughs> That's on his, like, ninth game of the afternoon that just fucking what is is killing that? you on the, the court. The B-dubs football jersey that the servers wear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, I want to go there now. I've never like, actually been I there. I used get, to drive past one every they day. They used to say, like, manager, then, like, 09, because it's 2009. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> I want a manager 09 B-dubs jersey. My, like, my, I wonder if you could find My B-dubs jersey? Yes, you can, actually. Yes, I found several. And I considered yeah, buying. They don't, really protect them. <laughs> they don't really protect them on eBay like they do with uh, FedEx and UPS shit. It's, it's one of the. <laughs> when I got laid off from Home Depot when I was like twenty, mm -hmm. they made me cut up my uniform. <laughs> they didn't make me do it, but they make you or like your uh, your apron. Yeah, because they don't want you, they don't people want... to come in posing and stealing shit. Yeah, That's they also epic. don't give you a uh, an employee discount at all, which sucked because they assume that someone's going to come in there get it fake job at home mm -hmm. depot buy like ten thousand dollars worth of lumber to do a construction job and then just ghost yeah, them that makes sense <laughs> yeah it does i would sense. do that i remember when i remember when i had a, a key card to get into the psych hospital like everybody else that worked there and one day i came in and the shit didn't work i'm like cool i got fucking fired but no i just called my manager i'm like hey my key's not working and uh it's because hr this other guy michael had just left for school and they turned his card off or they, they meant to turn his card off but mine was off I'm like sweet you said like, Mikey's not working and they told you to get back to work? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, these are really cheap, actually. I know. You buying some uh, B-dub jerseys? Maybe I'm going to get one of these. I have, I, yeah, B-dub jerseys. It's been on one of my things to buy because it's just so funny. to just Going into <laughs> B-dubs and wearing that and just be like, no, I'm just a big fan of you guys. <laughs> Most of them are women's. That's yeah, it's because it's the waitresses. I have a buddy oh, okay. that was a he was a key holder at his B dubs. Mm -hmm. That's right. He opened and nice. he closed. Well, that's that'll a, be a birthday present a for my wife. Who's <laughs> <laughs> also never been there. <laughs> Wait, you've never been there? No. You gotta go. No. You know it used to be called BW three? Yeah. yeah. Buffalo yep. Wild Wild Wings and Wick is the bread. Wow. It wasn't right. Wick actually, it was uh, what's it called again? Weck. Weck. W E C K. Yeah. Wick, mm -hmm. like the thing where you get the free yeah, baby food. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> well, that's what you they, could buy it. It's the only thing you could buy it with. No, it was called a bowl BW3. Of like Gerber at the... <laughs> in the late the late nineties, they they gave it a cool font too on the mm -hmm. BW three. But that's uh, honestly like I feel like they they went in reverse of what most companies do. Like they should they, you expect them to start as like Buffalo Wild Wings, but it's because they were originally Buffalo Wild Wings and Weck, which is. A whack name, mm -hmm. but BW three like companies used to call it right. like when my parents would always call it BW threes, and then I called it, and then I was like, "What are you talking about?" And it's like it's B dubs, and I was just like, "No, it's not." And then I was like, yeah, "Wait, there's only two W." Yeah, <laughs> like, wait a minute, the Mandela effect, <laughs> bro. That was the one of the funniest things <laughs> once I found that I was asking guys there that were fucked up, like, "What's the three W's and B dubs <laughs> and BW three? Because or I'd be like, "Do you remember what B dubs was called before?" And they're like, "Yeah, BW 3 I'm like, "What are the three W's?" Like. Buffalo Wild Wings. Like, what? <laughs> what? Wild Wings Wooting. Wild Wings. Just holding up three fingers. Yup, got it. Wild, wild Wild Wings. Is it B-Dubs who has the commercial, like their, their like motto is just like, beer, wings, sports. Yes. Is wings, that beer, that yeah. That's the, yeah. Uh, they're, they're like affecting wings, the beer, games. sports. Yeah, B-Dubs, B-Dubs is not like I mean, that's good. good for all three of those. It's fine. It, no. You, you can, for bad. people though... <laughs> Okay, Tom and I probably have both gone through this experience. For me, it was always the... When you work with a bunch of 30-year-olds as an 18-year-old in the Midwest, you end up going to B-dubs a lot. Yeah. Cause it's like the fucking coolest place for 30-year-olds to hang out with 18-year-olds, I guess. But anyway, what it really was is you could drink beers there, and you don't have to be 21 to get in, mm -hmm. so everybody would hang out oh, there. Okay, exactly. that makes sense. In, 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 in sort of boring towns. But they also had actually good like arcade games, too, which brought its own funny culture, because there were literally like golden tea gangs the fattest losers in the world that should be bowling, mm -hmm. but they're trying <laughs> to beat ups instead. And they'd fucking like fight over who's hogging the golden tea for their little like tourneys they'd hold between their friends. And shit. it's like, Holy fuck, go to Dave and Buster's. There's like more than one. Yeah. Or go golfing. So annoying. 10 years ago when like the UFC was really popping off and you had like Anderson Silva and GSP fighting and shit. Eventually, all like the cool bars and stuff are like it's just too much of a pain in the ass. We have to buy the pay per view. Like we only attract douchebags. We're not showing the fights anymore. <laughs> and like the last fucking holdout of bars that would play the UFC in Calgary was was B Dubs, and so we'd go there to yep. watch the fights. Uh, which is just really sucked compared to like what we had before when you could like go around. Yeah, B Dubs. Fuck, that you was just made that me, was why you made I me literally realize why every time I hear about old. Fucking like GSP fights and shit. I close my eyes. I'm like, fuck. I remember sitting. I'm at the. 
I'm at the I'm, table. I'm drinking a blue moon and I'm eating boneless <laughs> wings and I'm watching <laughs> GSP fights. Yeah, yeah that's we went there all the time because of the UFC. And then like they had sports and like Akron's was right across from the university and it like was the shittiest B dubs. It was like the small little bar and like they barely had TVs, but they didn't card you. The wings were cheap and it was right across from the university, so it was great. And then there was one, I think in Macedonia. Medina and it was giant and they had all the arcade games they had uh time crisis they had everything that you wanted and so my parents would take us as kids because they had friends out there and so like you get wings there's sports on tv and then there's arcade games I was like this is the perfect place for me this is heaven like everywhere else that was like that it, they had a steady decline in quality over the years oh for sure and, it, and de- it depends in price, on insane increase in price yeah, you know, it's, now, like, it's go expensive. anywhere else. <laughs> Don't even try it like it's a novelty. Yeah, it's so fucking like, the expensive one for in, no reason. They built a really nice one in Kent, Ohio, and like we would occasionally go out there because the Akron one was just terrible. And once it got more expensive, you're just like, man, I like this was fine on Tuesdays where it was like buy one get one free, and it was like seven dollars. Now it's like twelve dollars for like six wings, and they just suck no, ass. We would <laughs> also chug like forties or four locos in the car before we go in, and then just have mm-hmm. like one beer each. <laughs> 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 cheap motherfuckers but then they eat a ton has anyone here been to a dave and busters re- busters recently yes no, no. How, how funny the story if you just think about arcade games like uh my girlfriend's coming to visit this weekend i know i yeah. know right big deal Whoa, official Whoa. i know right but uh she, well he got his name well she's only good for coming for a couple of days and i was like so like what do you do she's like let's go to dave and busters I was like, all right, yeah, yeah, sounds cool. I'm down. Like, uh, well, yeah, fine. yeah. I mean, why not? Yeah, you don't no. have to spend that much money. Chad's girlfriend dresses like Lara Croft, and she wears like a, a trucker hat mm-hmm. with like the gamers, <laughs> the gamer, uh, like the man and woman's with getting married. And it <laughs> yeah, says yeah. game over. She looks like <laughs> Melanie Mac Mac's OC. Yeah, it says it says Mac'd on it. <laughs> it's, oh. She's a big Melanie Mac fan. Her, her OC is just Lara Croft, but she's like six seven. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> No, Dave and Buster's is Dave and Buster's is legit. Like on the weekend, it's gonna be like. That's okay. That's fine. Um, do they have time crisis there? I don't know. Some do, some don't. Yeah. They have a Lara. You gotta Croft, call them Lara on the phone, Croft, dude. Like shooting games. Oh, that's cool. There's they sometimes have the Halo uh, arcade on rail shooter too. Oh yeah. my god! Also, Buster I'm recently coming. passed away, so maybe bring like some flowers or something. Yeah, just said, like it's, it's said yeah, he drove a segue. Yeah, that'd be cliff. so funny, like to go up to the host and be like, "I heard Buster recently passed away." This <laughs> I'm is, so sorry for yeah, your loss. Just the same for the owner. Act like it's the only location. Yeah. Yeah, the owner. <laughs> I, I know you guys loved Buster. Slapping the manager on the back. I'm sorry, Buster went bust. Fucking hug him. <laughs> you hug him, like then you're done hugging him, and he fucking feels his shoulder and it's all wet because you're just crying into it, <laughs> crying. <laughs> quietly just sobbing into his shit. I think they should change the name of the company to Dave. <laughs> Dave and Dave's. Dave get rid and. of Busters and get rid of Ann too, because you don't need Ann. So Wait, it's just I called Dave. It. Wait, they need a new. They need a Dave, new co-owner. Dave and Silk. <gasps> oh, oh right, yeah. Oh, Silk bad. is just busy, like. Looking at stars, I think she saw Jupiter in the sky, and she thought it was a drone. No, she thought it was yeah. a diamond. That was yeah. one of the Rock. weirdest. <laughs> like she's losing it. Like yeah, like diamonds in the sky. Mm-hmm. <laughs> People were diamond. in the comments saying like you should get out your twelve gauge and shoot that thing out of the sky. <laughs> and like one, I think it was a planet. And two, if that if that was a drone, it would be like yeah, you would need a slug, stupid. It would be like 500 feet away and also she wouldn't <laughs> yeah. be able to hit it at night no and it wouldn't like it just it's the same thing as the chinese balloon the bring that thing over alabama i'll shoot it with my bb gun how much did you pay for for cctv of silk trying to shoot a fucking drone out of the sky with a 12 gauge oh a lot that'd be a great video i would love that video that would be an that would be a new intro screen. that would look like my dream Is it skin and my c- controller fell on the ground <laughs> just fucking silk point at the sky with a shotgun like whoop drop my controller. Is it yeah. called strabismus when your eyes point in different directions I don't know. No, because uh, I think she sa- has that. Sagittarius, I think. Sagittarius. Okay, yeah. I'm one of those too. So yeah, that's yeah. another thing I have in common with Silk. Nice. But uh, yeah, I don't know if I would trust her with the, with <laughs> oh. the gun because her, her eyes pointed different trust directions. Her. We see that happened to her. <laughs> Whenever I see those people yeah. with that that thing where their eyes are crossed, I always like to toss things at them and watch them not be able to catch <laughs> it because they don't have depth perception. That's not nice. Well, yeah. What happens if you see a cyclops? He's fine. Yeah, he's. I'm gonna. Yeah, I. He, I can just. You'll uh, get your fucking ass clipped. Can, or your, your ass kicked. I'll throw if your you ass go clipped. into the. Uh, what's it? What is it called? Uh, the the labyrinth. 
The labyrinth. Mm. If you go into the well, labyrinth and the you labyrinth like... was the Minotaur. Well, there's other stuff oh. in there, right? Come on now. Hey, well, the no. Cyclops. It was. Where does the, the Cyclops, Cyclops lived? He lived. Is it uh, so He was in the Odyssey. I forget. He was just on an oh, island. I wrote the Odyssey. Is he in Crete? Is he on Chios? Or is Crete the Minotaur? Crete is the Minotaur. Crete, I think Crete was the Minotaur. With, Crete, the Minoans uh, and the Mycenaeans had a lot labyrinth. of cultural interactions, mm -hmm. and you can also see that come out in a lot of different other places around the. Eastern Mediterranean. Cycle. Where does where does the Cyclops live? Where was Cy where the does it Cyclops? Say Cyclops? Where do you live? Where do you, where does he live? In his house, in a cave somewhere. I know where the I know, I know where you can find. I know, I know where they spawn in RuneScape. It says uh, far away land without law and order. Uh, oh shit! Oh damn turkey! No NBC there. Well, I guess now that Richard Belzer died. Yeah. Wow. Well, well, R.I.P. Uh, I'm seeing the island of Sicily and the volcanic Aeolian Islands, according to Wikipedia. Uh, hey, if you want to see a cyclops, oh, yeah, Mount all Edna. of you, all of you right now, if you want to see a cyclops, look down. Yep. When I, when I, when I <laughs> it was cool how back then people Ew. would see uh, a volcano explode and they thought it was gods doing stuff. It is. And they would just write it down and as turned, gods doing and it, stuff. Yeah. Right. And it turns out it was just one god. Actually. Yeah. Yep. Dumbasses. <laughs> they were the Judeo-Christian god. They're pluralizing it. It's just one god, you it dumb my, fucks. It was my Jesus. <laughs> and that stuff happened all the time, too. Like, every 20 years, there would be, like, a giant volcano that exploded and killed everybody. In Bro, the we're Italy making fun of, of that, but there's a large portion, especially, like, the Zoomer population that's reverting into, like, there's only one god, you dumb bitch. The Bible's the only <laughs> book you need, stupid. <laughs> Don't be such an There's also a large portion god of people, people who are... Post on TikTok that giants are real. True. They have proof of people are dying. Man, all, of gotta... the, all the smartest guys in Alberta have been talking about that. <laughs> Up in the over on the mountainside, though. Yep, I drove by. It's not there anymore. Checked. Uh -oh. Not there no more. Thank you for checking at least. They, and they killed that guy <laughs> <laughs> for his true ass observation. They killed him because they didn't want thing giants about those to guys be is like that guy tried to like fake his death, but he's like, "Oh fuck, it's been three days. I'm posting new TikTok about something else. <laughs> I got a new idea. <laughs> yep, I seen something else. I'm back That's from so the cool. dead. I do love. Yeah, I'm dude, not dead anymore. It's the same same thing of the the Twitter the Twitter blue checkmark media corporation. All the past three mm. weeks now, anytime there's any fucking thing in the U.S. or elsewhere on fire. You get raw alerts posting it, and then a bunch of dipshits quote me going, there are no coincidences. I'm like, come on down, yeah. man. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, like, no one ever, like, You realize we just almost had a for fucking that strike, like, two months ago, mm -hmm. nationally, for our railroad, because of long hours and horrible safety regulations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but no. Yeah. Well, then you have the other people that are like, the, wor the workers are sabotaging it because they didn't get their raise. It's like, no, dude, that's why they wanted their raises. <laughs> No one want to do this shit on purpose. You know how much extra work that is when you fuck up your, the train you're driving? <laughs> the cat turd uh, tweets about that are pretty funny. The way he's, like, they're so enthusiastic about it, weirdly out of nowhere. Like, they're just, like, look at East Palestine, Ohio, but they're giving money to Ukraine, like, 20 times a day. And he's a guy who lives in Florida. The immediate no response from Biden and Biden's administration on it gave the right, the perfect opportunity to be the most annoying motherfuckers about it and they took it so mm -hmm. quickly that's why you have jd vance sloshing around down there going oh damn there, there's fit look at that fish <laughs> this fucking tight girl jeans so cool yeah i wish he didn't go to ukraine like come on we gave oh them enough God. money dude the fucking yeah. ukraine flag emoji lives yesterday they were being like i don't know what gets more fucking presidential than this shit President Zelensky yeah. and Biden side by side. I'm like, well, it's not in America, first of all. It's not Ukraine's president day. But then the other people <laughs> Most that are Reddit like, conflict of all the time. The West Wing libs here that are like, sir, it's President's Day and you've abandoned your country to go to Ukraine. There are fish and, and all the chickens dying in East. It's like, shut up, man. Go watch West Wing again. What is he going to do about that? You think he's going <laughs> to fix that? He doesn't give well, a shit. He doesn't know finally, where he is. He finally did something today. The Biden administration put the EPA in control of everything and the EPA immediately said that... Uh, that they're the fucking company is in charge of all the cleanup and paying for it. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, first um, good move. Yeah, I mean, it's not like nothing was going to happen with that. Like people were acting like, like all those people were going to just thanks to raw be alerts, out on man. the street. Like that disasters do like happen like that, and people are there are externalities, and people are like suffer for them. But like people were acting like the like the company that did that and the government were all going to be like. Fuck you, suck my dick. You're not getting a settlement, bitch, ever. <laughs> my, <Sure. laughs> my favorite shit about all the uh, the East Palestine stuff is uh, 
the right wing guys that keep saying, yeah, and transportation secretary Pete Buttplug. <laughs> There's know. fucking so you don't many of them. Gay, uh, man. He's gay. Oh, <laughs> actually, the only like, train I don't know. I think I shared. <laughs> Let me find the Andrew 15 post. Oh, my God, <laughs> I, I just Post-ca- looked in quotes about fucking Pete Buttplug, and there's like 15 or so an hour. <laughs> there was someone the other day earnestly trying to type it, and it was like, boo, boo, zha, 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 and then he just goes, close enough. <laughs> this, was, this was typed at 11 a.m. on Valentine's Day. <laughs> How to, and he wrote, how to manage the Department of Transportation. How about diverting funds to make sure that train rails are safe for trains? Instead, Pete Buttigieg would rather divert his money towards his gay dates. Woo! He would rather divert his cock into Chaston's ass. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, man? <laughs> That's so weird. Cock into ass. Very he's cool. like, oh, this guy, this guy's <laughs> this, he's stealing money and he's taking all the money from the trains and <laughs> using them for gay days. Also, Fuck. like, there's the Chaston biography, or not the biography, the uh, documentary, where he's like, Chaston's, I feel so bad for him. Because Pete just mm-hmm. ignores him and he's like just uh, an afterthought. Like he's not taking him on dates. The fucking gay date thing though made, immediately made me think of Pete Buttigieg, but talking with the Obama voice. Oh, Tristan, my gay husband. We're going on our gay <laughs> date now. Let's go. We're gay. We're gay boy. We're such gay boys together. Let me be queer. Let me be queer. I was myself, let me be, I was making myself laugh yesterday because I was driving around and uh, my brother and his husband adopted a baby and they were sending pictures. That's and nice. I was just imagining like talking to someone oh this is my brother and his gay husband's baby look at them <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, this is my brother uh, why do you need dude, you gotta check this out there was a gay adoption and this it's is my beautiful. gay brother-in-law with my brother and my nephew <laughs> my brother and his gay husband here you go this check a- this out this accounts at, on gay dates at polar bear mp67 uh their name's mystery guy and their profile picture is a a, a picture of a deer they took at a field Ooh. and it says <laughs> Pete Buttplug is too busy, air quotes, packing fudge to deal with this minor inconvenience. <laughs> True. <laughs> what oh, do you mean? Buttplug and then like put it into quotes. Why? Why? You're not hiding it, man. Just say he, he's fucking another man. Also, why I would you call him Pete Buttplug and then like this is what allude I hate. to gay sex? This is what, so I hate. what the fuck? That's what I hate about fucking right wingers, especially because they do this so much. It's because the gay thing. They take yeah. a guy who was like built. Born in a lab, basically, that was created by the FBI. That's like that's Pete's life, uh, and they're like they they treat Pete like a fucking like unhinged like Andrew Gillum or fucking uh, Hunter Biden like crack smoking fucking sex on mm-hmm. tape having guy instead of like a guy that goes to bed at like six thirty p.m. Yeah, like he's the guy that posted about the no loads refused cum dump party. Like yeah. they think he's that dude, type of gay guy, dude. Yeah, but like they think all gay people are like that. That's just but it's, what it, they it just doesn't even make even any sense. Because like, like no, gay no men can do that logistics. Ever. That's not here's here's another one. Lactating sodomite Pete butt plug ripped for no show in Toxic Ohio <laughs> train. Jesus derailment. Christ! <laughs> Complete disconnect at Pete Buttigieg at New York Times. It's a four hundred ten pound man saying lactating sodomite. <laughs> Lactar. That's a, oh, that's that's a man a in a city bus. Wings of driving. Redemption. Uh, that's Wings of Redemption. That's a demonious X type fucking. <laughs> insult, that's my man. new Fortnite name. You lactating sodomites will never get in my base. Oh my god. Why is he lactating? <laughs> I think there was a story understand. about some gay dad who learned to lactate it, like mm-hmm. years ago and they just maybe Assume maybe just someone wrote in Pete and Chaston. What the mm-hmm. fuck? It is so I, funny that like both of those Pete and Kamala both made deals with the devil to drop out of the race because they got the phone calls from Obama to make sure Bernie mm-hmm. didn't win and he might not mm-hmm. have won anyway, but they like they settled for these two shitty jobs, the vice president who has to like go to the border and say, do not come. And everyone gets mad at her. And then the guy who's in transportation, the transportation secretary, and he can't actually do anything, but everyone just gets to yell at him when a train <laughs> turns over and say, you're gay, you're gay, you're packing fun. No, it's also like he just came off like the two months of the worst airport performances we've ever had too. like <laughs> complete fucking hell for him. The only good move yeah. that Pete's made in the past like four years now or three years is Moving to Traverse City, Michigan. Great move. Great wow. city. I would say the best move was marrying Chasen. He's a very loyal guy. It's like heavy rain, but it's Pete running around. You're, you're spamming it. He's going, I gotta fuck Chasten. Oh, Chasten. <laughs> I gotta Chastin! fuck Chasten. 
I was thinking about that when we were watching the Sean Bolduck pranks the other day. Sean! Sean! <laughs> Sean! I, I got If Sean disappeared. Sean! Sean disappeared. I don't think his dad was <laughs> come looking for him. His dad probably has a GPS tracker on him. Like oh, it's on his sure. belt buckle or something. Just to he make sure he gets that... lost all the time as a he definitely was like a get lost kid. Walking where he just like wanders Someone told him around. to get lost and he did. Walking by a deep <laughs> well with no rope and he's here. So this guy was happy this guy was here. Oh, Welcome back, what's up, guys? Russian. I'm just about you. I'm down here at the bottom of the well. <laughs> I would spit. I was trying I'm to stand here trying to, to, I'm trying to defeat this noon wraith. <laughs> I just start filling it with water. <laughs> oh my god. Sean just hiding around his neighborhood and approaching people like they walk across his path and it's a fucking Pokemon duel. Hey, what's this? <laughs> a little nuisance, man. Oh uh, god, those pranks were so annoying to me. I was editing that yesterday. It's so it's so awesome. I don't know which one was first, but we'll have to watch more of them. I don't know. Like, yeah, what was the first time this happened? Because every time it, he does one, it seems like he did the exact same thing a week ago, mm -hmm. and they know. There was something I was thinking about Sean the other night after we watched him, and it was if he was only like five percent self aware of how he it looks in those videos, but also how people would receive it. If he just maintained, like, not really knowing what's going on, he could have been so huge. He would have been the kid that everyone just makes fun of, and he could just never break character. And, like, his parents mm -hmm. would eventually be in on it because he had millions of subscribers. But he would have been, like, the, the, the sort of dude that, like, Joshua Stange gets obsessed with, but for real. Yeah, <laughs> like, like Dax guys. Flame, but real. Yes. Fuck. Also, I really hate thinking about, like, the 2008 to 2014, like, YouTube, like... The fucking the prank the giant stuff. accounts from there that are just still yeah. sort of trying to do stuff, but they're all like thirty. They're like my age now. Racism in the hood prank. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that one guy did stuff with his with his grandma, and they would do like oh like <clears throat> bathroom pranks on people, and like just like pull your legs at the stall or shit. Yeah, and just stuff that like they should get their ass kicked for, but they're just like I'm recording you on YouTube, dude. I got thirty thousand followers. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, man. Roman Atwood's the lucky. Like, I really thought that guy was gonna get killed uh, doing something because he would do like he was one that was like farting in the hood prank, like walking by a bunch of guys that are sitting <laughs> on the fucking bus stop and lifting his leg, going like <laughs> right in their face. Like, come on, <laughs> <laughs> you're so like, lucky to just gonna... get fucking even just getting knocked out. Yeah, like Half it's just time. not even really a prank. It's just being incredibly disrespectful to some guys yeah. in public and daring them not to do something. At the time, people like whether you even... farted or not, going in someone's face is like Most you're of still time, being yeah, an they asshole. They wouldn't even react. They would just fucking be so shocked. But every now and then, some some people just stand up and get really close to him, <laughs> to intimidate him. But they're like, I don't know, this guy's fucking weird. He just farted in my face. Do I really want to fight him? <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, nowadays everyone with their 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 iPhones and their fucking uh, AirPods, they're not even going to hear or see a fart. True, they're too, they're not that's... living in the moment enough. Amen. Yeah, that's, that's right. Once true. we get smell pods, I mean, then people aren't even going to be able to smell my farts anymore. He was the same guy that did the fucking <laughs> prank where he had the the harness on, but it looked like he was hanging from the tree on Halloween <laughs> the night before Halloween. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. Wasn't he hanging campus. from like a? He was hanging from a uh, bridge, like a little bridge. An overpass. Yeah. yeah. It was this little, like, just a little two lanes, like, not too busy road. The one car that bumps him and gets scared and just fucking speeds off and sends him spinning. They, like, went <laughs> thunk, and he just goes, spins around on the rope. So funny. It is a pretty good prank. That's because a really Because he would prank, be already it's, dead, you know? It's, so it's not scary. like scary. It's like the uh, Logan Paul with the guy in the woods thing. Like, that guy was that already dead. Just, but that shit's... <laughs> to have that size of a platform and then just film it and upload it right away be like, dude, the body is so crazy. Yeah. It was... Two, well, because, like... It was 2017 or whatever at that point. It's fucking nuts. Yeah, that's too yeah, late for that. It was 2018, right? Must be. Or 20, end of 2017, beginning of 2018. But, like, you can't just film a dead body and put it on YouTube like that when you have that kind of following. Why not? Yeah. I wonder how long I'm it... pretty sure that's, like, against the U.S. <laughs> it be long, but long, but I mean, I, I don't know. I, like, thinking about it, like, that guy probably... The Japanese guy who killed himself probably was like, I've accomplished nothing. No one knows who I am. I'm a nobody. I'm just nobody in this world. And then he became, for like uh, two months, the most famous dead Japanese guy in the world. And everybody What's his was, name? What was his name? Um, That's exact. No, he was just the dead guy. All right, let's I don't Google think, it. I don't think they would have given out his dead name. Dead guy. <laughs> they gave out his address. The name Logan <laughs> Paul video. But it did, it, like... Millions of people knew who that guy was. Yeah. 
at this point, the, the Paul brothers, I wonder how long all of their apology videos for all the different shit they've done would be <laughs> if you put it all together. Oh, man. That'd be a fun compilation. You just cut them all up where it's like, just I'm hour. sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then the reason starts. I did not understand. Did or not Shane understand. Dawson. Oh, God. Well, what is Shane? Well, Shane doesn't need What's to apologize Shane do? for anything. Yeah, what yeah. Shane do wrong? It was mostly Shanene doing all that cancelable <laughs> yeah. stuff. It wasn't Shane. Oh, God yeah. damn it. It's so uncreative. It makes you want to, oh my God, man. Yeah, it's just it's like, like the... Some it's like some annoying racist teen girl shit when they don't even know they're being racist. First black it's like Rush Pops Limbaugh Shanene. stereotypes awesome. of like... Yeah, like Shaniqua with a Cadillac in the hood. And mm-hmm. She likes Run DMC, but you're doing queen. that in like, yeah. yeah, well, you're doing that shit in like 2013. It's <laughs> just crazy. <laughs> She's <laughs> like putting cardboard does. down to do a <laughs> break dancing. gangster dancing. <laughs> they blurred the guy's the... face in the video, by the way. Yeah. Um, yeah, I knew they did. Yeah, yeah. But they show his full body. This is from a BBC article. It says a member of the group was heard off camera saying he doesn't feel good. Paul then asks him, What, you've never stood next to a dead guy? Then he laughs. laughs. Yeah. I remember. So when I was working at this time, uh, there was a guy I was working with who wanted to be a famous YouTuber. And he Did uploaded do it? a uh, No. Oh. He uploaded a video of his reaction. <laughs> to logan paul's video and oh it got like God. 300 views and every day at work he'd be like talking i got a new comment i, I remember comment. i remember you talking about that guy which is so funny because mm-hmm. you can make one tweet and get more interactions that week that day than a yeah. whole fucking month <laughs> yeah <laughs> this is miserable. our response to the jake or the logan paul body thing and it's gonna get more than 300 views uh but he would he got like 70 comments on it and he would just read them out like all the time when we were working. Fucking he just loser. never shut Ugh. the fuck up. He had uh, his hacky sacks and he would try to play it. Meanwhile, we're all at computers like doing work and he was like trying to like juggle and then he'd like stand up for like a 15 minute break to like kick it and he would just kick across the room and he'd have to go get it. And, just, this, and meanwhile, he's just talking nonstop. Just never not talking. Imagine he was the if we most annoying that. guy I've ever worked with. If we did that in real life, going up to someone, be like, "Look, I got, <laughs> I posted something about Keffels, and I'm getting a bunch of replies now." <laughs> going up to someone like at the store. <laughs> what? Yeah, I mean, just going up to a guy at fucking Kroger, Meyer. So uh, I was on the front page three, four days in the, in the past week and a half. It's crazy. It was awesome. Like, if you go look at my vods, there's so many views on all of them. I got BTS stands reing. I got. I have a guy putting his hands up, like I'm gonna hit him. Look, I got a hundred replies to what I said about Taylor Swift. Even though I have a locked account, I consider this going viral for me. That's pretty good. I didn't... <laughs> See, 114 yeah, faves and no retweets on a private account. I can't show you it because you don't follow me on Patreon, but... Hey, did, uh, you, know what they, you know what they would tweets. say? You know what they would say to you then, Michael? That. They'd say, sir, sir, this is sir, a Wendy's. this is a Wendy's. That's right. Did you guys hear the, the, the big Kroger. news about uh, the, the big news with Twitter lately? What's going on with that? Uh, Elon, Elon bought uh, it. But after that. No! <laughs> yeah, 2FA? No! Twitter becomes the first social media platform to allow cannabis ads in the United States. Wow. wow. So, Thank you, Elon. That's so yep. dope of you, man. That's funny because if you post like about weed and up until now, you just get bots mm-hmm. trying to sell you CBD products. And mushrooms. Also, holy shit. Can we talk about... <laughs> I saw a bigger account talking about this too, but I noticed this like a day after Elon's thing. Um, sorry, Chad, go ahead. No, you're good. Go, you're, I'm, you're fine. It was related, sort of. Whenever, I don't know if it's, it, it probably is still going on, but um, whenever people, just when black people are talking normally to each other on Twitter and they say the N-word, just the soft A, there are bots that reply saying, yo, homie, I got Glocks for sale with like Telegram links and shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, it's Jesus the fucking Christ. weirdest op going on. I'm like, it's, it's crazy. It's Cool Dealer 420 again. <laughs> oh no, that guy. I hate oh, that guy. nuts, man. Hello, gangsters. Would anyone like to buy some firearms with the serial number shaved up? <laughs> you can do anything you want with this. No one can track you. Yeah, but the reason I know about this, not because I read the news, is because in my man, my, uh, manager meeting the other day that Brit came up and it came up but the way it came up like terrified me because like the owners were like does anyone here have a twitter anyone use twitter <laughs> and i just started shaking my head like immediately like no nah, mm-hmm. no nah, just like looking at the ground and then i like i was then i for first i thought they were going to be like hey you should interact and share a post with us for us and stuff like that but then they 
basically just said that yeah you're allowed to do weed ads on twitter now so uh, uh, man awesome. doing like a local ad on twitter for it, just zero re- they would all, uh, i think twitter ads only make sense if it's like a purely digital product or if you're a global yeah. brand right like pepsi yeah, or yeah, whatever. I'm, yeah we'll see i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna start a small company <laughs> very local contracting company and just advertise on twitter only <laughs> It is interesting right, how the uh, Twitter is like going into a downturn because of Elon at the same time that ads are down in general. And also uh, the weed industry is sort of overextended mm-hmm. in the legal states. So the prices are starting to come down, which is nice That's beautiful. because there are like mm-hmm. just so many uh, <laughs> like extraneous dispensaries with super high prices that were like opening across the street from each other for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I hate those motherfuckers, too. Yeah, no, they're they're dropping like flies. Like uh, uh, pri- prices of places in like Kush with a Q. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like there aren't twenty liquor stores on every block. <clears throat> yeah, it has to equalize at some point. It was pretty bad for it, it was. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But like, fortunately, like my place is doing really good. So like, we're not like at risk. But we keep uh, getting people applying at our place from other dispensaries have closed down. Like uh, prices are probably down about f- like oh what just just. I don't even like our shake. Like we we'd sell an ounce of shake just like for, sh- for like sixty bucks when I started. Now you, now you walk out of there with an ounce of shake for thirty six. Not that walk out of there. Pretty good. Yeah. You, pretty, you can make a lot of edibles with that. Mm-hmm. But no, yeah, you just, just eat it in butter. <laughs> no, nah, it's just people. It's actually You're just people, to drink shake, guys. It's people. You do have to put it in butter, mm-hmm. which I know you like, Tom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it's healthy for you. <laughs> that's <laughs> all you just making cannabis butter and eating that. Now let me actually get into that. Get like this, like nasty green brownish butter. <laughs> just eating a stick of that, and then like oh, an man. hour later, you're having a panic attack. <laughs> Imagine somebody seeing that though and thinking like, "Oh, I can make hash. I can make. I'm gonna make some of that too." And they just take some ground up weed. Like flour and just put in a regular butter or margarine and mix it up with a spoon. Hell yeah, this tastes good. <laughs> you have to decarboxylate it in the oven at 240 degrees for like 40 minutes or so. You ground up the flour, you put it in there, then that does something chemically to it. Then that you can put in the butter or the vegetable oil or whatever it is. Mm. And then let that simmer for an hour or so. And then it's weed infused or, butter you or you put, it in a, you put it in a blender with some greek yogurt <laughs> you just <laughs> some protein powder and then you just drink that oh, you put a nug between two pieces of bread and you put it in the microwave <laughs> that's what basically a firecracker and go to kush with oh. a q dispensary and get a, a a little tiny speck of that shit inside of a what looks like an iphone box for 120 dollars <laughs> and you know, hey. all the extra packaging shit. I hate it so much. It's cra- it's insane. There's, it's the control. there's a dispensary in Calgary called Cow Buds. Oh, I like that. Oh, there, there used to be one called Chum, and then it got purchased by a another Obama? company called High Tide. Yeah, yeah, we, I remember that. Which sucks because, like, on the Ch- Chum's website actually it Chum. talked about Obama on it when they were talking about, yeah. about us, our mission statement, popularized oh, so by sick. yeah. So I'm kind of sad they went out of business, but. <laughs> Um, if you're uh, in Canada not buying weed off the computer, you're a sucker. True. I wish I could do that. It's not federally legal. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. Like It would be nice if I, if I could just get edibles in the mail. It'd be nice if I didn't have to hold 60 grand in cash in my safe. Like, yeah, yeah. Wait, what, what's or... the address of where you work, Chet? Uh, like, what, what time are you transporting it's, it's that money? One, two, three, go fuck <laughs> hold yourself. Hold on, let me pull up Pick Rob's address. Well, I'm not telling you that. <laughs> Colorado Springs. But, uh, and obviously it's only there for one night, but it's still way too much for it to be there. And that is an absurd amount of money. Oh, dude. No, I mean, I, I, working at dispensaries made me even more leftist. Not to get political here. Yeah, how dare you? Yeah, but, uh, because, you know, I, every, every single dollar of that, that store makes goes through my hands as I'm counting it. Like, I get to hmm. the actual physical feeling of how much money it is. And, you know, after just putting through a stack of 20s into bundles of 20s over and over and over again for just one day, and you're like, damn, I got like, I earned like three of these, or like f- five of these fucking bills in one, one fucking day. Like, like <laughs> markup is basically 50%. Like, we sell, you know, for twice as much as we you buy. You start doing a one for you, one for me type deal with those 20s. Mm-hmm. Well, they do hook me up with a lot of samples, so I get I got a I got I get a bunch of fr- cool shit for free. But they still okay, boot boot liquor. They're like chat, smoke this. Well, <laughs> no, I, I have all this like high end shit that I'm never gonna do. I have like these fucking like rosin dabs that are like 
eighty dollars a gram, and I don't fucking dab. What am I gonna you, do with those? You, uh, you, you know what you need to do to give to get just, favors from people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just leave them on the street as a gift for people. <laughs> Maybe you like trade them for house plants with the people in your apartment complex. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you, you smoke everything inside, then replace with poop, and then glue them to the street. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> who's poop? A dog. Okay. Yeah, a dog. The, you wouldn't want to bring a human the, poop. Or you can go back to the guy with the plants, trade him one of the full ones, ask for some poop, give the plants back, or yeah, give I would just I would plants. go to a Are you talking about my neighbor with the plants who I'm supposed to buy those plants off of from like six yep. months yeah. ago? I was actually just thinking about him before we started Started recording. him off of. I mean, I'm glad I haven't ran into him since because it'd be it's gonna. <laughs> yeah, don't don't take those plants. Well, they were honestly they looked pretty nice. Like, they were healthy plants, but I was gonna first of all I was gonna that's pay what he him, wants you to I think. was gonna pay him eighty dollars for those fucking plants, which was way hey, too that's much. Your L. Yeah. You gotta have those appraised. Yeah, well that's the thing, bro. I mean, if I I'm playing eighty dollars for plants, they, I better be able to smoke it. He was fucking hammered. He like saw me from like three hundred yards away and just when he was drunk and just made a beeline towards me. I'm gonna <laughs> sell that guy my plants. Crazy, making yeah, business. He almost like fucking got away wolf. with it. Not on my watch. Yeah, you uh, almost I'm, spent $80 I'm, I'm, I'm on Poison Ivy. I'm too <laughs> smart and cunning for him. I only followed him into his apartment. <laughs> I only got lured in yeah, to lured his in. apartment and promised to give him $80. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was just so fucked up he forgot who came in. Yep, yep. Have you guys ever done the prank where you go to a real upscale neighborhood where they have... Uh, DNA tests for the dog poop to find out whose dog it is that they're not picking up and you just go into the bin with all the bags and empty out all the bags onto the ground <laughs> to get people's dogs in trouble. That's the, one of the classic pranks. <laughs> they're, gonna fire, prank. they're gonna fire the dogs. That's actually why Pete Buttigieg had to leave South Bend because Chastity kept doing that. <laughs> uh, <coughs> come on Chasen, you know you can't be emptying those, those dog bags. Chasen, get out of the poop box. <laughs> get out of the poop box. Chasen. Those are meant to be in the bin. We don't even have to talk like Joe Sanger now. Oh, I don't know there, Chastin. Oh, I don't know there, Chastin. I'm smarter than a regular transportation secretary. Yogi Buttigieg. Pretty good character. Well, I don't know about all those trains. Uh-oh. I actually think, uh, I think Yogi is related to Scooby and Shaggy. Yogi do. Yogi do. Yeah, he's probably their dad. He's probably both of their dad. Shaggy and Scooby Doo are brothers. Do you think I heard Yogi related? Bear is related to Fred Flintstone. <laughs> they like Joshua Jerry type conspiracy. I'm calling him Shaggy Doo so much. <laughs> yeah. Shaggy is Yogi Bear Ross. Fred it's Flintstone in a bear dude. suit? Oh. Because wow. he doesn't seem like a bear. He seems more like a man at times. Recall Vector, grow up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Get real. There's real Get shit real. happening. There's real shit. There's real shit in those cartoons. You're making shit up. They Stop just it. changed Kush with a Q to High Tide. <laughs> Mandela effect. <laughs> <laughs> this is Can literally what that guy it? does he walks down the street in california wherever uh, he is and he's like that building didn't used to be there and it's been under construction for like four years he just didn't notice that's different they used to be a bikini bottom bike shop have you ever noticed when they just had coke and diet coke and now you have coke zero this road used to only be three lanes now there's four <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that billboard man. was different last month it's so funny to live in a giant metro area like la and go to all parts of it like all year and it's always like rapidly changing, being like, "What the hell? This house on the corner here was yellow for all every other year I've been here. What the fuck's going on?" In, so in funny. December, is, that LED is... sign on the highway said, "Watch out for black ice," but now it says, "Have a happy Fourth of July." <laughs> <laughs> literally, What's going man. On? That is literally him. One of my in favorite. My ones reality. Was... His name was Buttigieg, but all these tweets are saying butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Uh, Fuck, man. We hope Mayor, Mayor Pete, we hope you the best. We hope the train stuff gets better, even mm -hmm. though we know what kind of trains you really like running on you. <laughs> yep. Anyway. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Justin, quit play with the dog. Wait, what kind? That's when a lot of people fuck you in a row. Oh. oh okay. I say oh after making the joke. <laughs> <laughs> I've read about it before, but I never really heard I was about just saying, it. I was saying it, hoping someone would explain it to me after, because I don't know mm -hmm. what it is. Homes oh, two for you on the R word. I want to have an orgy with you, girl. Me, just me and you. <laughs> just me and you. Just having an orgy. Urban Dictionary, what is a gay train? Having an orgy with your <laughs> wife the day you get married. <laughs> <laughs> Orgies guy, are best when it's just two people. The guy that it just means like all over the room. Yeah. <laughs> It just, yeah, it means there's a mess. <laughs> it means you're really loud. It stinks bad. It's like a cacophony. 
<laughs> uh, we just made an orgy in here. Sort of is. <laughs> well, <laughs> thanks, for thanks for listening. Thanks for listening, guys. Yeah, they charged Thank us for the for hotel listening. room because of uh, you know the orgy. <laughs> no, it's just us two. <laughs> Have a wonderful Fat Tuesday. God bless you. Bye. Uh, bless. Bye. 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 Your radio is set on cruise control.